If you are 25 years of age or older, there is a good chance you have experienced formatting a diskette in the past. Nowadays, it is no longer that common to hear the read and write head of a diskette drive chasing the correct track, trying to deliver the desired data to the user as quickly as possible. Diskettes are now considered old technology. Yet, we regularly encounter the symbol universally known for saving your data. The silhouette of a diskette. In today's applications, diskettes are severely limited with a storage capacity of less than 1.5 MB. The most common use case are probably users maintaining their retro computers using diskettes to exchange data. Just a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video investigating how Microsoft was able to store more than 1.44 MB on normal high density diskettes. Many of you watched that video and added comments recommending other tools that can be used to overformat diskettes and thereby unlock more space. Thank you for that. One of the tools most frequently mentioned was 2M, which I will look at today. The tool was developed between 1993 and 1995 by a Spanish developer called Siriaco Garcia de Celis. I hope I pronounced this halfway decent. This tool claims to be able to format diskettes up to a capacity of over 2 million bytes. But that is not the only advantage it offers. Using sector sliding and a revolutionary technique called Disk Boost, regular diskettes are promised to achieve unprecedented speeds, pushing the boundaries in terms of capacity and performance. 2M is really a collection of applications and tools. Most of the information and documentation about 2M can be found within the application 2M Info. Next to the documentation, there are also two tools embedded within this application. The first one is a floppy disk debugging tool. This tool allows you to gain full control of your floppy drive and diskette. You can tell your floppy drive to jump to a specific track on the disk. And it can read a single sector into memory which you can then edit and save back to the diskette. Here we can see a reference to the FAT12 file allocation table, as well as the media name, which has no name at the moment. If you have the proper knowledge, you can do a lot of things with this tool. The second tool is a transfer speed test. I currently have a diskette in the drive which was formatted using the regular MS-DOS format utility without any alteration to the system. No drivers or any other drive enhancing software has been installed yet. At the end of the benchmark, the numbers for reading and writing are almost identical, at about 30 kilobytes per second. Before we format any diskette using 2M, let's add a new line to configsys as suggested by the documentation found inside 2M info. We need to set the value for buffers to 40 and restart the PC. Let's explore the main applications I'm going to use today. First, let's have a look at 2MDOS, which is not installed yet. When this little application is loaded into memory, it allows the DOS supplied format utility to create 2M formatted disks. Running the application again outputs a small summary screen. It looks like we have the speed optimizations disk boost and sector sliding enabled, but it seems that the format enhancements are missing. Let me try to format a diskette anyway and see what happens. After DOS finishes formatting the 1.44 MB disk, I immediately started the benchmark to test the transfer speed. And no, no benefits. The size and speed are unchanged. I guess it's time to look at the second small application that remains in memory after it was started. 2M. 2M seems like it doesn't work with 2M DOS already loaded. So let's uninstall 2M DOS using the option U. Now let's start 2M and right after that 2M DOS with a format option. Let's verify the current settings by starting 2M DOS again, but this time without any parameters. And this time we get a different output. Looks like we have enabled support for 2M disks for the MS DOS format utility. Let's format the same diskette again. All we did was loading 2M before 2M DOS. This looks like the regular format tool from MS DOS unchanged. Until we see the kind of disk it is formatting. It is 1.88 MB. It also sounds and feels like formatting a disk in this format is very slow. Compared to a regular formatted disk, you can hear how painfully slow that is.
Once done, we end up with 3735 sectors at 512 bytes each, for a total disk space of 1.91 million bytes. This disk is a lot larger than what I could create using FD format in my other video. I think it's better to test if this disk works properly. ScanDisk with its surface scan can discover bad sectors and clusters. But after about 4 minutes, ScanDisk did not find any errors. I guess we can move on to the next test, the transfer rate. A standard formatted diskette reached 30 kilobytes per second. This high capacity disk is just shy of 29 kilobytes per second. Unfortunately, the higher capacity comes with a disadvantage of slightly lower speed. But maybe we are doing something wrong here. Maybe we shouldn't create two M formatted diskettes with a format utility supplied by MS-DOS. But I did read in the documentation that you can speed up diskettes when they are formatted with the format utility distributed with MS-DOS when 2M-DOS is in memory. Let me try something else then. The system is going to run 2M and 2M-DOS again. But let's have a look at what options are available in the MS-DOS supplied format utility. There seems to be the option F, which forces the utility to use the specified disk size. Maybe forcing the size to a standard 1.44 disk will enable the speed boost. Well, there is only one way to find out. Okay, the size flag works. And listen to the disk. This disk formats so quickly. I restarted the PC to make sure there are no programs residing in memory that could influence the speed of the disk. If everything works properly, we can assume that this disk is compatible with a standard MS-DOS installation. I am really curious what transfer rate we get from this disk. And listen to this. The drive makes the same noise as it did during the format process. I have never heard such quick action from the read and write heads. And the score is above 45 kilobytes per second, for both reading and writing. That is literally 50% faster than a regular diskette. So, same size like a regular diskette, but a lot more speed. And the great thing about this format is that it doesn't require any drivers or program to work. Windows 95 doesn't seem to have any issues with this format either. Although the noise the drive makes while copying files feels a bit bumpy, it completes the copy process without issues. I somehow don't think we get the full speed benefit of this diskette under Windows. It sounds as if a sector is missed here and there. When this happens, the drive needs to wait for a full rotation of the disk to continue writing data. Formatting the diskette in Windows eliminates the speed advantage we have seen under DOS. After a format under Windows, we are back to 30 kilobytes per second. So far, we have seen 2M and 2M DOS working in combination with the MS-DOS format utility to speed up or increase the space of a standard diskette. Now let's have a look at 2MF, the tool that should be used to create 2M formatted diskettes. Starting 2MF without any parameters brings us to a help screen, with quite a few options we can choose from. In the first paragraph we can read that 2M must be installed for 2MF to work properly. Let's do this and run 2MF on drive A with the parameter F, which should create a fast, high capacity disk. It looks like we get less space compared to the 2M DOS version, which now only is 1804 kilobytes. And indeed, when the process is done, we only get 3571 clusters, which I believe have one sector each at 512 bytes. The total capacity available on this disk is 1.83 million bytes. Let's see how well this disk performs in the transfer rate benchmark. Surprisingly, this disk seems to be super fast. Listen to the read and write head moving smoothly from one track to the next. This disk is faster than the fast 1.44 MB and a lot faster than the 1.88 MB disk we have created before using 2MDOS and the MS-DOS format utility. At 48.5 KB per second, this disk is an absolute chart topper. For comparison, a fast disk formatted with FD format made it only to 33.5 KB per second. Let's have a look at this disk in Windows. Keep in mind that the 2M utility is still running under DOS while we start Windows 95. 
Oh, that sounds strange. The disk drive is also not really responsive. It took almost one minute to open the properties window. Something is not right here. Let's copy a file to the disk and see what happens. And after some time, the copy process fails with this error message. From what I read, you can get around this problem by disabling the standard floppy disk controller in the device manager. After a restart, Windows will still work with floppy disks, but instead of the Windows driver taking care of handling the drive, the BIOS is now in charge. I restarted the system and booted into DOS to have a look at our diskette. Unfortunately, Windows made the disk unusable. All I can do now is to reformat the disk and then we can try in Windows again, this time with the standard floppy disk controller disabled. Now we can try to access the disk again. What is promising is that the properties window opens much quicker now. Unfortunately, copying a file freezes the entire system, including the mouse. Copying 1.68 MB took around 6 minutes. During that time, the PC is unresponsive. Yes, we can access the disk and the file is there, but this behavior makes it almost unusable. The good thing is that Windows no longer destroys the disk while accessing it. It still works under DOS and has the same performance as before. And this was 2MF with the option F for a fast disk. Great for DOS, not so much for Windows. Let's move on and format the disk using the M option for maximum capacity. This time we should get a disk with a capacity of 1886 kilobytes. That sounds close to the disk we got while formatting with 2MDOS and the MS-DOS format utility. Once the tool is done, the summary is presented to us. And yes, 2735 clusters on the disk with 512 bytes each, for a total of 1.91 million bytes. I won't bother testing this disk under Windows, but let's quickly verify how fast this disk is. If it is anything like the 2MDOS disk, then I expect a transfer rate of 28 kilobytes per second. And as expected, we get 28 kilobytes per second. This is essentially the same disk we created the first time we have seen 2M and 2MDOS in action. And now, finally, to the last tool that I want to explore in the 2M collection. 2M GUI, which stands for 2M Guinness and not for graphical user interface. This tool was a proof of concept and as I understand is the closest you can get to a full capacity disk. Instead of dissecting a track into sectors, 2M GUI is writing data throughout the entire track. There is some trickery involved how 2M GUI makes sure the drive doesn't overwrite data when a full rotation of the disk is complete, but that will not be covered in this video. Another change to the other programs we have seen so far is that 2M GUI needs to be loaded during the boot process. Therefore, we have to add a line to the config sys file with a path to 2M GUI. After a reboot, we see 2M GUI starting before reaching the command line. It is interesting that we see a new drive with the letter D being available. If you go back to the help screen of 2M GUI, you will see that it will create virtual drives which are supposed to be used with 2M GUI disks. If I try to format or access drive A, I will be rejected with an error message. Well, okay, let's try then to format drive D with 2M GUI and see how much space we get on our disk. Apparently, we should end up with 1972 kilobytes after this format. And sure enough, we reach a new record on this disk. With a total available size of 2,011,136 bytes, this is the largest formatted disk we have seen in this video. To perform a speed test, I had to use the lock command to allow direct access to the disk, otherwise the test failed with this error. I guess we should keep in mind that this format is a proof of concept. Nevertheless, we break another speed record for this video. Reading data from the disk is happening at 50.5 kilobytes per second. The write speed is much lower at 38.5 kilobytes per second. We have reached over 2 million bytes on this disk, but with a lot of compromises. I prefer the disk with 1.83 million bytes created with a utility 2M and the option F. This disk provides super fast transfer rates of 48.5 kilobytes per second for reading and writing. The drawbacks are that you need 2M to be loaded and the disk is almost useless under Windows. Not to mention that you have to disable the floppy disk controller. 
If the disk is accidentally put in a system where this isn't the case, Windows corrupts the file system of this disk. The best option I have seen today is the speed gain we have seen using 2MDOS. Yes, the capacity remains at 1.44 MB, but you get 50% more speed just by an optimized formatting process. You do not require 2M or 2MDOS to be loaded, which makes this format compatible with other systems. The only drawback is that you may lose the speed advantage if you format the disk with Windows or DOS, because they will reinstate the slow or unoptimized sector arrangement. So, what do you think about the 2M tool? Have you or would you use it and which format do you like the most? Are you surprised that there is so much space left on those diskettes? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed today's content going back to 1995, fighting for every single byte on those diskettes. Also subscribe to my channel so you will get updates whenever I upload a new video. We have broken the milestone of 10,000 subscribers a few days ago. Thank you so much for your support. And also a sincere thank you to all my Patreons for your invaluable support. Thanks for watching and I will see you in one of my other videos.